Ottawa Heritage Streetcar Concept Simulated Cross River Route 1A Until 1959, the City of Ottawa had an extensive streetcar fleet and it is the goal of this committee to create a limited streetcar system connecting both downtown Ottawa and downtown Gatineau. One of the more simple and cost-effective loops shown here is Loop 1A. It would be based on Spark Street and would connect to the Hull sector of Gatineau via the Portage Bridge in the west. It would return to Ottawa on the Alexander Bridge in the east and come down Mackenzie Avenue to return back to Spark Street. There's also the option of uh, putting a line into the Ottawa Convention Center and the Rideau Center. The following is a real-time simulation using a GoPro camera mounted on the top of a car. The car was driven on the exact route shown in the map, going down Spark Street, across Portage Bridge, returning to Ottawa on the Alexander Bridge, and returning back into Ottawa. You can see the car shown here, and it's on Spark Street the day this video was made. The car was driven at a speed to simulate the movement of a heritage streetcar on a pedestrian mall. As well, the car would occasionally pause to simulate a streetcar stop. This video was created very early on a Sunday morning. That's why there's so few people visible on the mall. Also, during this time, vehicles are allowed to go in the mall for various commercial delivery purposes.
At this point, the pedestrian mall is no longer in effect. We have mixed traffic, as you can see. Coming up to Bay Street and Garden of the Provinces and Territories. At this point, the streetcar would turn north onto Bay and head towards Wellington Street. The building at the end is the National Library and Archives of Canada. This would be a stop since it would serve both that building and the Garden of the Provinces and Territories. At this point, the streetcar proceeds west on Wellington to go to the Portage Bridge. This brings you to the city of Gatineau and to the province of Quebec. The Portage Bridge not only crosses the Ottawa River, but it also traverses Victoria Island. And although this video does not show it, we could possibly put one or two stops on it. Now as you can see with the tall buildings, we are now in the business section of Hull, which is now in the city of Gatineau. Gatno City Hall is the building on the left. We're coming up to the Canadian Museum of Civilization on the right.
This stop can also be used to service the Museum of Civilization as well as allowing visitors to go to Jacques Cartier Park. At this point, the streetcar would return to Ottawa via the Alexandra Bridge. This is a former railway and streetcar bridge that is now a mixed-use bridge for automobiles, pedestrians and cyclists. And as we head south across the bridge into Ottawa, this bridge also provides a beautiful scenic view of the city of Ottawa, including the Parliament buildings. The streetcar is now returning into Ottawa. The building straight ahead is the National Art Gallery of Canada. Majors Hill Park is on the right and Majors Hill Park is a popular place for festivals and for tourists to view the Parliament buildings, the City of Ottawa, the Ottawa River and the province of Quebec. The large church on the left is the Notre Dame Basilica. The building straight ahead is the Embassy of the United States of America. This is a stop at Mackenzie Avenue. The Byward Market is straight ahead, but the streetcar will now turn right onto Mackenzie. The large castle-like building on the left is the Connaught Building, a National Historic Site. The building coming up on the right is the Fairmont Chateau Laurier Hotel. These are the east doors of the Chateau Laurier Hotel. The Byward Market is just to the left. The Rideau Center is to the south, straight ahead. The West End Hotel and the Rideau Center and the Convention Center are on the left. The building directly in front is the Government Conference Center, which was Ottawa's former railway station. We're just passing by the front of the Chateau Laurier Hotel. The Parliament buildings are on the right and the National War Memorial is on the left. Around this point we're on Wellington Street and the streetcar will need to go southbound onto Elgin Street in order to return to Spark Street.
this is the end of Streetcar Loop 1A since we are now returning onto Spark Street at Elgin Street. This is uh, Michael Kostjuk. For more information about our project, please go to ottawastreetcar.com. Thank you.